So how do you find out more about the internet? Um, the cool thing about the internet is the internet is extremely open. Um, the internet, unlike a lot of other systems that you might use, whether it's vehicles or different pieces of electronics, is something that is not only documented through these series of standards that are completely open, uh, but a lot of the inner workings of the internet are actually available to you. And that's something that we're going to be doing as we go along, is showing you how you can find out more. But let me uh, talk about a couple of, of common ways. Um, the, the, the World Wide Web that you guys experience in this sort of form is actually uh, super, super open. Um, so for example, if I'm using the Chrome web browser, I can go to a web page and there's this really, and I'm sure you can't see this, but there's this very powerful way to inspect different elements of the web page. I can look at exactly what happens as the web page is loaded. This shows me all of the, the different requests that are taking place, uh, different resources that are required to build this web page. Um, I can actually run code. I can look at the JavaScript code that's running to build this web page. So all of this, you know, you may not understand all of this, but all of this is there. It's all available. There's there's no special tool I had to install to get this to work. This is just a web browser that you guys can download for free. Um, and so because, to some degree, because of how the World Wide Web works, these documents that are being sent to you are just there for you to look at, right? Uh, so for example, um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty interested. Uh, maybe, you know, I think that Demetrios' name is spelled wrong, or maybe I want to change something. I want to say Dr. Uh, Jing Gao, right? I can, you know, make changes to this web page right as I'm going along if I want to find out how things work, right? So this gives me a nice way to poke around in the innards of the World Wide Web. Um, to find out other things about the internet, there are these fantastic suites of networking tools that you can use to, to, f to find out things. So for example, one thing we're going to talk about is how do we translate the names that we use to name computers on the internet to the addresses that the internet uses internally. Um, and there's a tool for doing this um, that you can install on your machine very e fairly easily. Um, so what I did, this is uh, the machine that I use at work. It's called testify.csc.buffalo.edu. That's a human readable name. That's something that I can remember. Um, I just used this little tool to translate it into a machine readable name. Fortunately, this is wrapped a little bit. Uh, but you can see that the IP address here is 128.205.39.4. Um, this may not mean much to you yet, but this tool is, exists and is something that you can use on uh, most modern computers or in a variety of different in, uh, environments. I can uh, see exactly what uh, steps are required to reach various machines on the internet. So I can use something called Traceroute, which will tell me how, uh, oh, I have to spell this properly, how packets get from point A to point B on the internet. So I'm uh, quite close to my home machine. It's just down the hall. And so what this tells me is that the first hop is the wireless router that I'm hooked up to right now. And then that wireless router has a one hop connection to my home machine. Uh, and I can use this to trace arbitrarily long paths across the internet from machine to machine. Um, so there's all these sorts of tools as well. Um, if, you're, if you like uh, books about the internet, there's a number of good uh, books about the internet, including um, such classics as uh, Where Wizards Stay Up Late, a great volume about the early internet and the development of the first ARPANET machines, those interface message processors. Um, I also would recommend uh, The Innovators, um, which is another uh, classic book that traces not just the development of the internet, uh, but also the development of computing and all that goes all the way back to Ada Lovelace and forward uh, through transistors and other things. Um, but here's the thing. The best way to find out more about the internet is the internet. The internet is self-documenting. So if you want to find out how does trace route work, how does that tool that I just used um, to uh, look at the, the route between two different machines work, uh, I can go to Wikipedia. There's a fantastic article. It has some example output from Traceroute. And this will tell me exactly how this works. So the internet is full of information about computers, about computing, and particularly about the internet itself. So my first suggestion would be if you want to find out more about the internet, um, Google around, look for things. Don't be afraid to inspect things. One rule of thumb is it's always OK to inspect your own traffic, to inspect the sites that you, you are visiting. 
If you start to get to a point where you're looking at somebody else's traffic, that's not so good. So please don't do that. But the internet is open and there's a lot to see. So go out and look.